Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a lower body strength and conditioning workout. Today I'm gonna to work five blocks of exercises, three exercises in the little circuit itself, and we are gonna work with dynamic and variable resistance. So I'm going to work with the dumbbell, which is more of a dynamic resistance where when we're working with it, it the resistance stays the same throughout the whole joint angle. When we work with a band, it's more variable. So as you stretch through the joint angle, then the exercise gets a little more challenging. And as you shorten the joint angle, again, it gets a little easier. So it's great to pair different types of resistance together to challenge those muscles. It's great fun. So we're gonna challenge our muscles that way today between both, um, again, resi resistance type, I can't say that, resistant type, and we're gonna add back a little cardio component. So I will go the two exercises back to back. We'll add that cardio component. We're gonna do 40 seconds of two of the strength exercises and then we'll do 30 seconds of the cardio piece. Uh, again, I'll give you lots of options. I brought my chair out if you guys need a chair. Um, I am going to do some single leg work. I'm gonna use my wall just to kind of give you that option if you have a wall, but if you have a chair and you don't have a lot of walls around you, um, which I'm sure you do, unless you're outside. <laughs> grab that chair, okay? Other than that, grab some water. I've got a cup of water, hopefully I won't spill it. <laughs> but grab some water, be ready, and we will transition from one exercise to the other. I'm not gonna so much say we've got 15 seconds, but between each exercise, there will probably be 15 seconds because I'll be explaining, all right? So let's do this, guys. We're not gonna work with the music. There's music in the background, so just listen to the music. Take it at your own pace. Remember, some exercises you'll move a little faster than me. Some you might work a little slower. We just want to make sure that we stay in control of our resistance. It's not controlling us okay I always like to say that so let's work on those muscles because remember our muscles are all about staying healthy metabolic wise we need our muscles to stay strong we need to maintain that lean mass as we age can't stress it enough so let's work on that okay guys all right let's start with our feet about hip to shoulder width apart. I'm gonna start with a gentle flow. So we're gonna work up and onto the floor. I'm gonna take a big breath up. I'm gonna switch directions here. Tuck those elbows into the back pocket, open up the chest. Exhale into forward fold. And then all I want you to do is rag doll up nice and slow. And then you're gonna roll out those shoulders. You got it, nice and gentle. And then we're gonna do that again. Take a big breath up. Tuck those elbows into the back pocket. <sighs> Exhale into forward fold one more time, and then we're gonna ragdoll up one more time. Nice and gentle. Roll out those little shoulders. Awesome. And then one more time. This time we're gonna work our way to the floor. Take a big breath up. Tuck those elbows into the back pocket. Open up the chest. Pull all the shoulders away from the ears. Then exhale, forward fold. Then just hold the elbows in your hands. And all I want you to do and gently, slowly move side to side, opening through the hamstrings and the lower back. Then I want you to place your hands on your shins. Lift up, pinch the shoulder blades together, long neutral spine, eyes are down. And then slowly exhale, dropping the hands, stepping back into plank position. Now you can always drop to your knees if you're not comfortable being on your toes. Again, pushing the ground away, shoulders away from the ears. We're gonna slowly exhale, chaturanga down. And then we're gonna inhale up into a cobra. So I want you to keep your pelvis on the ground, pull the shoulders away from the ears, and then we're just gonna drop one shoulder towards the floor, bring it back up, and the other. So make sure you're comfortable with your extension of your spine. I don't want you to go too crazy. And then again, nice and gentle. And then one more time, nice and gentle. And then we're gonna hold it up. We're gonna exhale down back into child, in, into downward dog. I'll get it right. I'll get those animals right. We're gonna walk those dogs. So heels one at a time, pressing the chest towards the thighs and relaxing the shoulders from the ears. Lifting that tail nice and high. And then we're gonna take a big breath and place both heels. And then we're gonna exhale down onto all fours. 
And we're gonna slowly look up into a cow, so shoulders away from the ears, lifting the tail. Then we're gonna exhale, we're gonna tuck the tail going into that cat. So we're just gonna gently move through this, nice and easy. Just rolling the spine, and then lifting the tail and looking up, pulling the shoulders away from the ears. Let's do that one more time. Exhale, push the ground away. Inhale, looking up, lifting that tail up, nice and easy. And then just taking it to a neutral position with your back. We're gonna take one leg to the side and we're just gonna rock back and forth, just opening those inner thighs a bit, nice and gentle. Let's go two more. And then last one, nice and gentle. And then we're gonna switch sides and we're gonna rock the other side, so nice and easy. So just rocking back and forth. Letting those hips go back to where you're comfortable. I'm really feeling that through the inner thigh. And then just one more time. And we're gonna bring it back to the center and we're gonna go into bird dog. So we're gonna reach those fingers and toes to the opposite end of the room. So think way more of a reach than a squeeze. You wanna keep the pelvis nice and neutral, zip up the core, push the ground away. Awesome. Let's go four more reaches. Three, last two, and last one. Placing the hands, exhale back to that down dog. Walk that dog one more time. Awesome job, guys. And then we're gonna slowly walk back. So you're gonna bend the knees. You don't have to come into a deep squat. Hands on the thighs, roll up one vertebra at a time. Roll up those shoulders. Nice and gentle, awesome job, guys. And then we're just gonna go into a squat and a hinge, okay? So our hips are hinging back. I do this one a lot because we are going to work with squats and hinges today. So again, sitting back into the squat, hinging, shooting the hips to the opposite side of the room. So on that squat, hips are down and back. On that hinge, just shoot the hips back, but don't drop them down, awesome. That's it. Long spine, eyes are down, shoulders are tucked around the spine. Beautiful. Let's go for two more of those. Awesome. Then one more, then we're gonna take it to a side lateral. So side lateral, we're gonna step it, we're gonna shift up, and then we're gonna step it, shift up nice and long so down let those hips hinge back you're coming forward through that body keeping those feet again glued to the ground and nice and parallel forward awesome you guys nice and long nice and strong you are beautiful yes you are thanks for being here with me the guy today you guys and hey thanks for being here for you you are important let's go three more of those Nice and long, last two, one more to go. Let's hinge back with a lunge, so nice and light, not hinge back, step back. You got it guys, just nice gentle lunges, warming all of those movement patterns we're gonna use today, long and strong, awesome. Taking your time, nice 90 degrees with the knees, push the weight through the heels, Long, strong through the spine. Beautiful. Let's go four more. Three. Last two. Now take it to a squat position. Squat, then open up a hip. Squat, open up a hip. Nice, easy open. You gotta just take your time. Let's go four more of those. Three. Two. Now I'm gonna keep squatting and I'm gonna kick it. So squat, give me a little kick. Little kick, okay? We're just gonna go eight of these. That's it, four more. Four, three, last two, last one. Now just step touch in. Give it a little shake out. You got it. Let's use the room a bit, moving it up. Four. Three, two, let's move it back. Awesome. Awesome, you got it guys. Bringing it back up. And taking it back. 
Let's do that two more times. And taking it back. Last time, here we go. And taking it back, last four, three, two. Give me a little rotation right here. Just moving nice and gentle. Awesome. I like to throw, put the quicker moves in at the end. Just get that heart rate up a bit. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, give me a little hamstring curl. Just kick that bum, open up those quads, get those hamstrings nice and warm. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now let's go two single and a double. So a single, a single, and a double hit. Try and keep the arms slow with the double legs. Works with our little brain. We like to work our brain. Oh yes, hanging in there. Let's do that four more times. Four. We got three more. Oh yes. Last two. And one more to go. Give me two steps. Two steps. Two steps. Nice and gentle. Getting all those planes in there. The frontal, the sagittal, and that transverse plane. A couple more steps, guys. Then I think we're ready to rally. Last four, three, two, last one. Give me a little march, shake it out. Grab a little bit of water if you want before we start. We're gonna start off with a single weight. I think I'm working single weights all the way through. If you wanna double up, you can for sure, okay? I'm gonna start off with a goblet squat, but I'm gonna take that band and I'm gonna place the band around the knees. Um, I will eventually move the band down to the ankles, but you can keep it at the knees throughout the whole kind of all three exercises. Um, I just wanna put this around the knees as I do the goblet squats. We keep tension on the band knowing that we're not letting the knees drop in, okay? So we'll start off bringing that weight towards that chest. Shoulders are back and down. Remember, ribs are nice and flat. We're going into that squat. We'll let that tension stay on the outside of the band. Are you ready? We're 40 seconds on. Here we go. So we're going down for two and slow up. I'm gonna keep that body nice and tall. Remember on the squat, you're putting the weights into the heels and up through the heels. When you come up, be really mindful of what those glutes are doing. Squeeze them at the top. That's it, beautiful. Good squeezing. Now again, you might be faster or slower than me, and that's okay. Just stay in control of that weight. Okay, we've got 15 seconds left, guys. Or actually 10. That's it. Last one, we get one more in. Awesome. Okay, now I'm gonna place that weight down. You can leave your band here. I'm gonna move my band just around my ankles, just because I don't have a very strong band on, so I wanna be a little bit more challenged with the abduction here. So second exercise, we're just moving side to side and we've got 40 seconds of those. Are you ready? Zip everything up. Here we go. Side to side. Now we don't wanna hike the hip. We don't wanna to lean too much. You can keep the knee soft. It's just kind of a little weeble side to side, lifting that leg. Awesome, you guys. Let me focus. Happy bums. We're working all of the areas of those glutes. Last 10 seconds. We got this. You can do anything for 10 seconds, right? Last four, three, two, and last one. We're gonna slide that baby off. We're gonna shoot it to the side, and we're gonna go into that little cardio component. So I'm gonna go into skaters. You can add power if you want, or you can just stay low, okay? We've got 30 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Push it away. You can move it up and back also, wherever you are comfortable, okay? Pushing through. 
awesome. Hanging in there. We got this, guys. Working as a team. Awesome, 15 seconds to go. So same thing, if you don't want it, you can be right here low. Go where you're comfortable. Gotta get my arms right here. Oh yes, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, shake it out. We're going back to the goblet squat. So again, I'm gonna place the band around my knees, just above the knees. So we keep that joint happy. Again, nice and gentle. Picking up that band weight. And again, keeping tension on the outside of the band so the knees don't fall in. Shoulders are back, chest is up. Are you ready? 40 seconds on the clock. Here we go. So again, nice goblet squat, keeping that weight nice and close to your chest. Body's nice and upright. Chest is proud. You're proud, you are amazing. Awesome work, guys. Hanging in there. I'm breathing. I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> We've got 20 seconds to go. Squeezing the glutes at the top. We're having fun now, I promise you. Oh yes, last five seconds. Let's get one more in there. Bringing it back up, throwing that weight back onto the bench or the floor. Same thing, if you wanna drop around the ankles, you can. If you wanna keep it above the knees, you can do that also. Are you ready? Side to side, 40 seconds on the clock, guys. Here we go, in. We got this. Little lifts, keeping the body tall. So you don't wanna, again, lean a lot. It's just a little bit of a weeble. We want that leg lifting side to side. Working the smaller glutes, those glutes stabilize our pelvis. We want them to be strong, keep us standing tall. We got this, guys. Oh yes. We've got 10 seconds. Happy bums. Almost there, last five seconds. Five four, three, two, and one. Sliding that baby off. Awesome job. Again, back to our skaters. Remember, if you don't want the impact, just stay low. We're gonna move it up and back if you want, or on the spot, whatever's more comfortable for you. Are you ready? 30 seconds, here we go. Pushing it. Again, same thing. If you don't want that power, just stay low, okay? Move it low. Awesome job, guys. 15 seconds to go. Pushing it away. Awesome. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Round three, already at round three. <coughs> Same thing. We're gonna throw that band just above those knees. Keep us intact here, grab that weight. Nice solid core. Shoulders are back again, chest is proud. Pull the shoulders away from the ears and pull those knees outward a bit. Here we go, are you ready? 40 seconds, let's do this guys. Here we go, nice and gentle. Same thing, staying in control of the exercise, squeeze the glutes at the top. Nice and tall through that body. Keeping the eyes up. Oh yes. And again, remember to keep that slight tension on the band. Beautiful, you guys, 10 seconds to go. Okay, last five. We can get one more squat in there. Beautiful. Placing the weight down. Again, placing the band where you want to. So same thing, if you're more comfortable above the knees, keep them above the knees. Okay, we've got 40 seconds on the clock. Are you guys ready? Zipping everything up. Here we go. Last round. 
giving it all we've got, but staying within the control. Oh yes, a little weeble here and there. Go team, go. That's it. I tell you, these little muscles don't need a lot to feel it. That's for sure. We got this. Okay, we've got 10 more seconds, guys. Hanging in there. Oh yes, five, four, three, two, and one. Slide that band off. Take a breath. Going back to our skaters. We've got 30 seconds, guys. Are you ready? Let's do this, here we go. Push. Taking it back. Oh yes. Same thing, if you don't want it, stay low. Where? Ever you are happiest, okay? Oh yes, you don't always need to jump, that's for sure. And some people feel better jumping, some people don't. Oh yeah, that's it guys. Moving it back and forth if you want. Okay, we've got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Grab a little bit of water, take a breath, 30 seconds here, moving into block three. Awesome job, guys. Block three, we're gonna go into 80-20 RDLs. Now I'm gonna be working both sides, so it's kinda like there's four exercises, but um, because I'm doing, again, switch out legs, we gotta do them both. All right, so I'm gonna start off with that dumbbell, we'll leave the band for a second. We're gonna go into that 80-20 position. So your 80, 20, when I mean by that, 80% of the load is in here. And again, we're 20% back here. We wanna zip up the core, we're gonna hinge from the hip. So we're gonna go a single leg, kind of an 80-20 RDL. So it's, most of the work is done by the front leg, all right? So we're going for 40 seconds, and then we'll switch to the other side, zip up that core. Here we go, hinging, squeeze the glute at the top. Remember, you're not arching your back, you're squeezing your bum. So think what those muscles are doing when they come up, squeeze them. Squeeze them tight, that's it. Hinge the hips to the back of the room. The leg in front is loaded. Zip up that core and pull those shoulders away from the ears. Ribs are flat, lats are intact into your back pocket, okay? You got it, we've got 15 seconds. Squeeze at the top. Last five. And we get one more in here. And then we're gonna switch sides. Awesome, guys. So same thing, chest proud, let those hips come back. We've got 40 seconds, here we go. Hinging, squeeze the glute at the top. That's it, so I've got 15 pounds in my hands. You might wanna work heavier. Today I'm feeling like I wanna go 15 pounds. Feels good to me. You wanna make sure there's no injuries involved, right? You feel good and in control of that weight. 10 more seconds, you guys. Awesome. Can you give me one more? Oh yes, perfect. We're gonna drop that weight. We're gonna pick up that band. I'm gonna stand by my wall just so I can show you. We'll cross this. We'll take the other leg back. So opposite arm, opposite leg. We're going into that single leg RDL. So close to the wall for safety zone if you're comfortable, okay? So we've got 40 seconds on the clock, zip everything up. If you don't want that, you can stay with the 80-20. Are you ready? Here we go. So go where you're comfortable. That's why it's kind of always nice to have a chair close by or just step against that wall because it's really great to be able to work on our balance, but you want to feel secure at the same time. As you get better, you can step away from the wall or the chair. That's it, awesome, you guys, squeezing. So everything's coming forward, those hips are nice and parallel to the ground. I want you to think you're squeezing that glutes, especially that left side, well, I'm on my left side. If you're on your right side, your right side. We've got five seconds, guys. Let's get one more in there. Perfect. 
And then we are going to switch to the other side. Awesome job. Switching out, hand close to the wall or the chair or stepping completely away. And again, same thing. This is always my harder side because I broke my toe on this side. So same thing. I mean, it's my right leg. It's my good leg, but since I broke my toe, it's not so much. <laughs> That's it, guys. Keeping the hips nice and parallel to the ground. Okay, we've got about 25 seconds to go. Go in where you're comfortable. A little weevil. I'm trying to let go on this side, but sometimes it's difficult because of that toe. I'm telling you, toes do a lot for you. Okay, last two. We can get two more in, guys. And then one more to go. Let's squeeze at the top. Awesome, releasing that band. Throwing her down. Going into our next cardio position. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go one, two. Actually, I'm gonna walk two. So one, two, kick. I'm gonna step two and kick, okay? We'll take the knees out. So we'll step two, three, kick. Are you ready? 30 seconds, here we go. So kick in, one, two, three. Kick in, okay? So nice and easy, you can go with the flow with the arms, little kicks out, little push with the toe. Going where you're comfortable. You got it, guys. Beautiful. Get a little cook. Now, if you don't want that kick, you can go with that knee wherever feels better for you. We've got 10 seconds. Oh, yes. Hanging in there. Last two, we got two more in it. One more to go. Perfect, give it a shake, going back. Again to the weight and the 80-20. So we're staggering. Remember, if you need water, grab it. Sit those ribs towards the hips, long through the spine. Hinging 40 seconds on the clock. Here we go, guys. Hinging down, squeeze the glute at the top. 80-20. So let those hips hinge. Keep that weight close to the leg that's in front of you, okay? That's it, guys. Squeezing those glutes at the top. We've got 15 seconds to go. Awesome. Remember to smile. Whoops, as I fall. <laughs> okay, let's get two more in there. And then one more. Think of that butt at the top. Squeeze it. Awesome. Switching sides. So again, nice hinge, stack those shoulders, ribs are flat, 40 seconds, here we go. Good. Squeeze at the top. Let those hips hinge. Keep that spine long. Remember that shoulders are around the spine, so really don't let them drop forward. We wanna keep them back. That's it, guys. Okay, we've got 15 seconds to go. Squeeze the butt at the top. Awesome. Okay, last five seconds. We can get two more in there. One more in there. Awesome. And then let's drop that weight. Grab that band. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Slide it around the foot. Make sure you're really anchored in there so it doesn't come back at you. Are you ready? 40 seconds on the clock, wall or chair or nothing, wherever you're comfortable. That's it. Let's squeeze at the top. Awesome, so remember those hips are parallel to the ground. When you stand up tall, squeeze that butt. It's like the chicken in the water thing, right? When that chicken goes down to get that water, I always remember that little guy as a kid. <gasps> Fond memories with my mama. That's it. Okay, two more. And then our 40 seconds is up. One more to go, we can do this. Beautiful, guys. And then we'll switch sides. Oh yes. It's great to add different types of resistance. Change it up from one to the next. Are you ready? 40 seconds on your market set and go. That's it. Awesome, guys. I need a wall on this one, a little more security. Awesome. 
So really try not to let that knee dump into the center. You want to keep your hip and the ankle in line here. Squeeze the glutes at the top. That's it. I have to look at my clock. There we go. We got about 10 seconds to go, guys. Because I don't want to fall. <laughs> Believe me, I've fallen many times. Let's go two more. We got this. One more. Awesome. And release. Going back to the one, two, three kick or one, two, three knee. We've got 30 seconds. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three kick. Whoops. I get my feet right here. Get a little push. Remember, if you don't want to kick, drive that knee, drive that knee wherever you feel happy. That's it, guys. Use those arms. We've got 15 seconds to go. Oh yes. Hanging in there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and last one. Shake it out one more set, guys. Take a breath. When you're ready, pick up that weight again. We're going again back to that 2080. So we got 40 seconds on the clock, last set, then we're switching blocks. On your mark, get set, let's go. Here we go, good squeeze at the top. Awesome, good focus on exhaling as you come up. Breathing is number one to everything. We wanna make sure we are breathing through the exercise. We're not holding our breath. Awesome, you guys. Okay, five seconds to go. Let's get two more in there. That's probably a little bit more than five seconds. Awesome, and then we'll switch sides. Same thing, zipping up that core, 80, 20. On your mark, get set, 40 seconds. Here we go. Let those hips hinge. So when you come up at the top, you can work a little faster on the top when you squeeze, but I want you to think, keep the control and when you go down on that negative. We like to work a little harder on the strength part where we are lengthening the muscle. So we wanna slow that part down a bit more. You got it, guys. Okay, we've got 10 seconds to go. Okay, that's the last one. And then we're gonna drop that guy down. Almost there on this block. Again, taking out that little band, zipping it up, hand close to the wall or chair. If you're not, you don't have to. If you're comfortable, free in space, go with it. Are you ready? Here we go. Awesome. So good control, squeeze the glue to the top. Awesome, you guys. Always good to work on our balance, especially as we age, but I want you to feel comfortable with it. We work our way up to these things. Okay, last 10 seconds. We are almost there. One more to go, guys. A little bit of a weeble there on me, whoops. And then we'll switch sides. Anchor in, make sure it's right around that foot because you don't want it coming back at you. Are you ready? 40 seconds on your market set and go. That's it, beautiful. Now you can bend that knee. It doesn't have to be a straight leg. Remember, everyone's range of motion is a little bit different. Some people might need to bend their knee a little bit more. those hips nice and parallel to the ground. So you want to keep those eyes down so you feel like you are on a good focal point. Squeeze that butt at you as you come up, guys. Awesome. We got about 10 seconds to go. Okay, maybe 10 seconds now. I think it was like five off there. Beautiful. Let's go one more. We got it. Yes, we do. 
Awesome. Throw that guy down. Shake it out. Again, one, two, three kick. So I'm going to start with a kick because I do better with my count there. <laughs> you got it, guys. Little kick out. We've got that 30 seconds. Remember, you can drive the knee instead. Sometimes you can work a little faster with control with that knee. So go where you're happy, okay? Oh, yes. 15 seconds to go. Oh, yeah. Go, team, go. Hanging in there. Last five, four, three, two, last one. Shake it out. Awesome job, guys. Two blocks down, three to go. Hitting into our third block. We're gonna go into a goblet lunge, okay? So grab water as you are taking a breath. I will show you what it looks like. Make sure my mic's okay there. And we are going to just alternate lunges back on the spot. Nice, simple goblet lunge alternating backwards, okay? We're going 40 seconds on, then we'll switch out to that band. So tuck those shoulders back. Keep that spine nice and long and knees are at 90 degrees. Are you ready? Here we go. So we're gonna take it down. Again, same thing goes. You're working at your tempo and you are in control, okay? You wanna feel in control. We've got the good 40 seconds here. Taking your time, extending through the hip knee ankle. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Watch that you keep the hip knee ankle in line too. Try not to let that knee fall into the center. We're almost there, guys. Five seconds to go. Two more, let's get two more lunges in there. And then last one, we're gonna drop that weight. This time we're gonna single lunge, okay? So we'll cross the band just like we did with the RDLs. But we'll do it in a standing position, zipping up the core. We're gonna lunge one leg back. So we'll just do the lunge back and in. Now here's your option. You can bring a knee up. You can bring a knee up to work on that balance. So option out wherever you're comfortable, okay? We've got 30 seconds more on the clock. Let's make sure you don't trip on the band. If you bring that knee up, clear that band. Wherever you're happy. Oh yes, everyone loves lunges. Yes, we do. 10 seconds to go, guys. We have 40 on one leg. Last one, awesome. Switch it out. This is when my heart rate starts going up. Oh yes, so nice and tall, stepping back. 40 seconds, we got this. Are you ready? Here we go. Down, driving up. So you are pacing yourself, taking your time with it. Remember, if you wanna drive that knee, drive that knee up. If you don't, you're gonna stay with me. Go where you're happy. Happy is important. Oh yes. Okay, we've got 10 seconds, guys. Wherever you're happy. One more to go. Untaken. Beautiful. Shake it out. We are gonna go two cross jabs two knee drives, okay? We've got two, we've got 30 seconds on that. Relax the shoulders. Are you ready? Here we go. So jab, jab, knee drive. Cross jab it and two knee drives. Cross jab it. Remember, this is about you, so go at your own tempo. Cross jab it and in. We still want control. We've got 15 seconds. Awesome. Oh yeah. Okay, five seconds to go. Push, push last two knees and relax. Shake it out. Whew, awesome job, guys. I'm just gonna take a slug. We're going back, round two, to that goblet lunge. So same thing, bringing that weight close to the chest. Shoulders are backing down. Zip up that core. Are you ready? 
here we go. I can't say it enough. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have to repeat it for my, myself to stay focused on all the things you need to do. When you're adding load, you're putting yourself into a unilateral position with one leg in front of the other. Lots to think about. Your balance, your strength, your core control. That's it, guys. Breathing. So many things. Okay, we've got 10 seconds left. Good control. Awesome. Okay, last two. Beautiful, guys. Drop it down. Take a breath. Grab that little band again. So same thing, I'm gonna start on this side again. So a little leg in, opposite arm, opposite leg, standing nice and tall. We've got the single leg lunge. You can add the knee if you want. Shoulders are back. Are you ready? Here we go. So we're going down, drive up, or down, drive up. Wherever you are comfortable, okay? works but think of be mindful of what those glutes are doing 10 seconds guys oh a little weeble there last one beautiful shake it switch it Whew. my heart rate is up there now you got it pull those shoulders back 40 seconds on the clock let's do this here we go wherever you're comfortable. I'll kind of alternate with mine, just so you guys are comfortable that you don't have to bring that knee up. It's completely where you feel good. Awesome job, guys. 10 seconds to go. Okay, let's get one more in there. Slide that baby off. Awesome job, throw that guy down. Taking a breath, back to the two cross jabs, two knee drives. Are you ready? 30 seconds on the clock, on your mark, get set, go. Two cross jabs, two knee drives. Two cross, I like these ones. These ones, you can really get the juices flowing. Oh yes, hanging in there. That's it, 15 seconds to go. We got this. We do, we do, we do. Five seconds, five, four, three. Let's go one more time. And out, shake it out. Beautiful guys, one more set of this block and we're moving on. Again, picking up that 15 pounder, going back to that goblet lunge. Remember, take a breath, take a second. On your mark, get set, we've got 40 seconds. Here we go, taking it down. Awesome. Nice, solid core. Good extension, right through that hip, knee, ankle. We got this, guys. 20 seconds to go. And this is our last set here. Almost there, five seconds. I think we get two more in, just even it off. Perfect. Throw that puppy down, switch over to one side, hanging on in there, okay? So nice and tall, shoulders are back, zip up that core, we got this. Here we go, so we're down, drive up or knee up, wherever it feels good for you, okay? That's it. 
keep it in control. Really focus on pushing the weight through the midfoot heel. <sighs> 10 seconds to go. Wherever you're happy. <sighs> Last one. One more. We got this. <sighs> Beautiful. Last leg, guys. Whew. And then we'll swap her on up. Same thing, zipping up that core really long and strong. Taking it back. Are you ready? On your mark, get set and go. Here we go. Whoopsie. Wherever you're comfortable. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Oh yeah. Okay, 15 seconds. We are almost there. Okay, we got one more. Awesome, you guys. Take it out, shake it out. Last set, two cross jabs, two knee drives. Are you ready? We got this team. Here we go. Two crosses, two knee drives, two crosses two knee drives. Beautiful. Remember, you're going at your tempo that works for you, okay? 15 seconds to go. Go team, go. Oh yes. Again, rotating that pelvis as you go. Pivot on the toe, let's do it one more time. Awesome, you guys. Shake it out. Two more blocks to go. We are moving beautifully, you guys. Keep breathing. I'm puffing. Take a slug of water. We've got 30 seconds here. As you guys hang with me, next exercise, we'll work more in the frontal plane where we're side to side, okay? So we're gonna shift from side to side, crossing through. So it's kind of, anti-rotation frontal plane. So we're getting a little bit of transverse and frontal plane at the same time. So that's good. We like to get all planes of action because we work through them all day long. We wanna be strong in them. Are you ready? 40 seconds on your mark, get set and go. Here we go. That's it team. Side to side, feet are parallel. Just dropping through. Go where you're happy. We got this. Okay, 10 seconds, you guys. Awesome. Let's get two more in there. Awesome, guys. Let's throw that to the side. This time I'm gonna work single leg. Same thing crossing over, so we'll shift from side to side. So we'll move into our bent knee, across. Are you ready? Here we go. So down, drive it up. Down, drive it up. Now you can also put a knee in if you want. Awesome. Driving it up. Driving it up. Good job, guys. 10 seconds to go. We got this. Nice hinge, long and strong. Keep those feet glued to the ground. One more. Perfect. We're gonna switch it up. Awesome, guys. So again, nice and long and strong through that spine. Side, Whew. I'm breathing. Are you ready, guys? And your market's at 40 seconds. We got this. So down, up. Ooh. Almost went flying on that side. Pick up the knee if you want it. Wherever you're comfortable. So you want to add that balance component and you feel good, go for it. That's it, guys. Be 
beautiful. Okay, we've got 10 seconds to go. We got one more, guys. One more. Perfect. Dropping that little guy out. Throwing her to the floor. Taking some big breaths. We've got some good walk downs. We love, oh actually no, we're gonna do, we'll save the walk downs to the last set, okay? So we'll save those fun ones for the best. And that's the end. So we're gonna go into little shuffles. Shuffle side to side, I'll give you options of non-impact. Are you ready? Here we go. So we're gonna shuffle side to side. So we've got four each side. Option is step, step double. Go where it feels good for you, okay? Shuffle, shuffle, awesome. That's it, we've got 20 seconds. Same thing, if you don't want it, stay low and quick. Low and quick, awesome. That's it, five seconds to go. One more time this way. Awesome, give it a step touch. Take a breath. Going back to the laterals. So we'll pick up that weight and we're gonna go side to side again. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice and easy. 40 seconds on the clock. Feet are glued to the ground, are you ready? So we shift, stand up, switch sides. Squeeze. Let those adductors work long hamstrings and those glutes quads are in there too awesome guys second round in oh yeah fifteen seconds remember slow it down if you feel more comfortable okay you want to be in control Five seconds left, two more. One more to go. Beautiful. Throw that weight down. Shift out to the band. Throwing it again on the opposite, so make sure it's really anchored. Shoulders are back and down. Are you ready, guys? We are ready. Are you ready? Go. So down, standing up nice and tall. Nice and tall. Now remember, if you have a heavier band and you feel like you want to be challenged a little bit more with a variable resistance, you can always switch out to a heavier band wherever you are happy. That's it guys, 15 seconds to go. So remember, you can bring the knee up or you can stay down with me. That's it. Okay, one more to go. Perfect. And swap sides out. Turn that little band over. Are you ready? So we get nice and long, nice and strong. We've got 40 seconds on the clock. Let's do this. Down, driving up. Awesome, you guys. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Squeeze them, remember. If you want to add that other component into the balance, go for it. So we're keeping that chest proud. So you're really long through the spine. 15 seconds. Almost there, team. Second round in. We only got one more block after this, guys. Last one. Awesome. Slide that baby off. Back to the shuffles. We've got 30 seconds. Remember, if you don't want to shuffle, just stay low. I'll do both. Are you ready? Here we go. 30 seconds. Option is you're with me. Just staying low, working through that push, okay? You got it, team. Nice and upright, but again, in a nice athletic base. We've got 10 seconds. Oh, yes. Hanging in there. Be careful if you're on carpet. Oh, yeah. Last two. Last one. Awesome. 
shake her out. If you need some water, grab a little bit of water. We've got one more round here. Awesome, I'm surprised I haven't spilt my water yet. <sighs> I tell ya, I'm kind of cotsy sometimes. Things are always flying in my house. Are you ready? Long and strong, side to side, 40 seconds. Last round, guys, let's do this. And then our last block is partially on the floor. So well, it's kind of really all on the floor with a little up. That's it. Oh yeah. Hanging in there. Strong and long. Having fun. Do you have 10 seconds for me? Oh yes. Shooting those hips back. Two more. Last one. Awesome job, you guys. Whew. Throwing that fella down. Back to the band. Cross her on over. Take a breath. Back to that lateral lean. Are you ready? On your market set. Tall, nice and tall. Awesome, guys. Option again, right here, wherever you're happy. I'm gonna go back and forth, keep those feet glued. Oh, yeah. Okay, we've got 10 seconds on this side. Perfect. Last one. And then switch it over. Slide that baby over. Cross it over. Oh, breathe. <laughs> Are you ready, guys? On your mark, get set. Last 40 seconds on this leg. Here we go. Down. Drive up. Down. Wherever you're happy. Oh, yes. And remember, you don't even have to use any resistance. You can always just follow along with the movement patterns. You are still going to get a lot from it. Awesome, you guys. 10 seconds to go. Let's get two more in there. One more, squeeze at the top. Beautiful. Okay. One more set of, set of shuffles or steps. Going where you're comfortable. 30 seconds on the clock. On your mark, get set, go. Beautiful. A little squeakies of the feet. You wanna pick the feet up. Remember your option to stay low. Low and low and low. You got it. Just step in as fast as you can, but having control over. We've got 15 seconds, guys. That's it. Almost there. Five seconds to go. Let's get one more time back and forth. Perfect. Shake it out. One more block. Grab some water. We're gonna go to the floor. We're gonna do some bridging hip thrust work. And then we're gonna do some side abduction. So we're gonna use that band again. So I just want you to take that band. We're gonna put it around above the knees, okay? Just like we did at the beginning. So we're gonna be in this position. Grab a little bit of water. I'm gonna move this so I don't crash it all over the place. My sister's gonna come in and do another video with me next week. I love working with my sister. <laughs> love my sister. All right, guys. When you're ready, you can either take this bridge directly to the mat, or you can put it up on a bench if you wanna have a little bit more of a thrust. Now I'm gonna incorporate my weight. So I'm gonna put my weight on my hip, 
Every time if you are on a bench, you always want to double chin, hip knee ankle, so the head is never hanging back, okay? So it looks like this when you come up, that double chin, ribs are flat, don't flare them up, squeeze your glutes, don't arch the back. So it drops down, and then you're gonna work faster on the way up, slow on the way down, faster on the way up. Second exercise is a side plank position. I think I can actually, no, I'll keep you on the, and then we'll take it to a little abduction. So we're gonna work that core. You can also keep the arm up. I'll give you options, okay? So let's start in that plank position and then we'll come up and do the walk downs. So it's a little bit of up and down work here, which is good for us because we need to be that way. So we are agile enough to play with our grandkids. It is so important to be able to get up and down off the floor without any assistance. Okay, are you guys ready? I know I talked a little bit too much there. Here we go, hips are up. Sometimes you gotta talk though to explain. So remember, if you're on the floor, same thing. You're just not up against that bench, okay? We've got the 40 seconds here. Here's your option. I got my mic on, my, on the back of me, so I'll just try not to squish it. That's it, so your option is to be down here with that weight. Now remember, you don't have to use that weight. It's completely up to you if you're not comfortable with it on your hips. Let's go 10 more seconds, guys. One, that's it. Squeeze, keep that chin double chinned if you're up on that bench. Let's go two more. Keep tension on that band. Last one, bring it off. Shift yourself up onto that ground. Again, so arms up, shoulder elbow in the wrist. We're gonna lift up and down for 40 seconds, okay? Arms here or here, wherever you're comfortable. Here we go. Little lifts. Focusing on those glute med men, the smaller glutes, side of the bum. That's it, guys. You know what? I'm gonna break these guys into 30 seconds because this is a little bit more challenging. We've got lots going on, so I want everyone to think strong, zip up the core. This is hard. Lots to think about. 10 seconds to go, guys. Awesome. And then last one. And then we're gonna switch sides. Same thing. Make sure you're anchored under. Remember, if you need to shake it in between, you can. 30 seconds, here we go. Lifting and lower. Awesome. I like that I have a light band around my knees. <laughs> That's it. My butt's working, man. 15 seconds to go, guys. Zip up that core. Breathe. Squeeze. Hanging in there. Last two. Last one. Awesome, guys. Take that band off. We could probably keep it on. Let's keep it on, because it's a little bit easier. Keep it above the knees. I want you to come up. Now, if you feel more comfortable taking it off, you can. I'm going to go into my walk downs now. So that's your little cardio with four mountain climbers in between. So it looks like this. Walking down. Actually, you know what? Let's do shoulder taps. If you want, you can drop to the knee for four and we're gonna walk back up, okay? 30 seconds. Here we go, since we have the band around our knees, we won't do the mountain climbers. We'll tap, two, three, four, walk back, back up. Four, three, two, remember you can drop to the knees. 15 seconds to go. So option. You got it, guys. Let's get one more in there. Go. And pack up. Whew, awesome. Take a breath. We're gonna take it back down, either to the floor or to the board or bench, couch, whatever you got in front of you. Whatever works. Again, you want those shoulder blades kind of right tucked up against, so the lower, the lower part of the shoulder blades. Weights on that pelvis. Double chin, hip, knee, ankle. Are you ready? 40 seconds. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Awesome. Good focus on that breathing. Hanging in there. We got this. Good squeeze. So remember, you can be on the floor with this. You don't have to be up on that board. 
Same thing right here. Squeeze the glutes, but don't arch the back. Don't let the ribs flare. That's it. Awesome, you guys. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Release that weight. Shift over to the side. Coming back onto the one knee. Again, wherever you're comfortable. Then we're little lifts. So you can keep your hand here. Wherever you're comfortable. And remember, if you need to shake it out in between, shake it out. We've got 15 seconds. We're just going to do 30 seconds each side. Awesome, you guys. Focus on the core. Focus on those glutes. Last five. Last one. Awesome. Switch her over. Same thing. Make sure that palms down, shoulder, wrist, elbow. You got it. I know I got them all backwards. I always do. Seriously, I'm a backwards kind of girl. That's it. That's it. Looking good wherever you're comfortable. Zipping everything up. Hanging in there. Oh, yes. 15 seconds to go, guys. We're in round two. We're getting closer. Last five seconds. We can do this. Bum burning, core burning. And last one. Awesome job. Bring it on up. Are you ready for our walk downs? You can take the band off if you feel more comfortable, okay? So we've got 30 seconds. As fast as you can. Shoulder taps, you can be on your knees if you want. Are you ready? Here we go. Four shoulder taps, zip up the core, pull the lats in, walk back into a squat, back up. Remember your options on those knees. Push the ground away here. Beautiful. Hanging in there. I can think we can get two more in there. But I want you guys to go at your own pace. Let's get one more in. Remember your options. Awesome, you guys. Yeah. One more set. One more set. That's all we got to do. Take a breath. Sit your bum down on the floor of the board. Weight or no weight. This is about you. Are you guys ready? Right on that pelvis. Nice and long and strong. On your mark, get set, let's go. Squeeze those glutes. Squeeze them. Awesome. Hanging in there, having fun. Oh yes. Go team, go. 40 seconds, remember. You're squeezing your bum, you're not arching your back. Squeeze those glutes together. Squeeze them. Keep that chin double tint. 10 seconds, guys. Tension on the band, so don't let the knees fall in. Last three, two, one. Beautiful. Release. Shift to the side. Everything's in line. Ribs are flat. Are you ready? Wherever you're happy with your hand, okay? 30 seconds. I better move up a bit. You got it, guys. Little lifts, not a big lift. Small little lift. Lots, of, lots going on in this position, lots going on. You really gotta think of pushing the ground away. Keep that shoulder strong, don't sink into it. We're almost there, five seconds, you guys. And last one, beautiful. Shift it through. Push the ground away, stay solid into that shoulder, okay? Remember, shoulder is part of your core from your shoulders to your hips. Here we go. Lifting, squeezing, breathing, having fun. I promise you, oh yes. Hanging in there, keeping it going. We've got 10 seconds, you guys. Last three, two, one. Woo! Bring it back up. I'm gonna take it off this time. And then we will finish with those walk downs and shoulder taps. Okay, this time let's do the mountain climbers since I took the band off. So instead of the shoulder taps, 
you want mountain climbers or if you want shoulder taps, go shoulder taps. Are you ready? 30 seconds, here we go. So if the shoulder taps or little mountain climbers, then walk it back. Beautiful. That's it team, 20 seconds. Remember, you wanna feel in control, you wanna feel like you're in the right position. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> okay, 10 seconds, we can get one more in there. Maybe we can get one more. We actually got about five left. Go team, go. High five, guys. <laughs> Awesome job. Whew. Give it a little shake out. Give me a little step touch. Oh yes, we're gonna wind her on down, guys. Wind her on down. Good job, you guys. That was awesome. That was three sets of everything. And in some of those blocks, we had single leg stuff, so it added up to a little bit more. Just give me a little rotation, elbows up. So I just want you to keep it nice and easy. Flow through, hanging in there. That's it, guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, give me a little march, a little step touch. Two more then. Give me a little march on the spot. Just nice gentle marches. Move it to the side, really light and other side, two, three, really light. And again, last time, bring the feet on the floor, bring the arms in front, just open and close. Open and close, you got it guys, that's it. Beautiful, two more to go, one more to go. Hands on the thighs, flat back down. Give me a slow roll up, one vertebra at a time. Bring it up, roll those shoulders again. Nice flat back down. Roll it up, roll up the shoulders. Let's do that one more time. Nice flat back. Awesome, you guys. Reaching those tails back, rolling it up. And then just reaching nice and easy side to side. Perfect, and then we're just gonna extend that one leg in front. Hinge from the hips, open up through the hamstrings and the calves by lifting that toe. And we wanna keep that spine nice and long. So we wanna lift that tail a bit, zip up that pelvic floor, tuck the shoulders back, those lats into the back pocket. Nice and gentle, slowly bring it up. Switch to the other side, nice gentle hinge. Remember to focus on that breath into the belly. Take some big belly breaths. And then slowly bring it back up, nice and easy, flat back down one more time. And then roll it up one vertebra at a time, nice and gentle, roll up the shoulders one more time. We're gonna do that one more time again. Flat back, roll up. Roll out those shoulders, and then I'm gonna take you over to the wall or your chair. We're gonna place that. We're gonna grab a hold of that leg. If you don't wanna to touch the wall, you don't have to. You can be away like I am right now. And you're just gonna rotate that pelvis forward. So you're gonna tuck that tail, pull the knee in towards the other knee, go where you're comfortable. If you want to be away from the wall, be away. Now, if you can't grab that foot, you can always use a strap to pull that foot back or you can put your foot on a chair. Awesome. Nice big breath. Now you're gonna take that leg and you are going to cross and you are going to reach. Nice and gentle. Open up through the lateral side of the body and those hips. And then relax, awesome. And then we're gonna switch sides. Take that other leg, rotate the pelvis, squeeze the glutes, knees together, hips are even. If you want to opt out to bring that arm up, work on that balance. Awesome. Strong and long, squeezing all those muscles in that supporting leg. And then release, and we will cross that leg. And we will switch. 
reach right over. Nice, big, big reaches. Taking some big breaths here. And then one more big breath, bringing it back up. Center in, take a big breath through your nose. Exhale through your nose and mouth. One more time. Exhale, take those hands behind the back, pull the shoulders away from the ears. And then just release the head towards the shoulders, but pulling the shoulders down, opening up those traps and those scalenes, nice and gentle. And slowly to the other side. Beautiful. And back to the center. Awesome job. Roll out those shoulders again. One more big breath through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Roll out those shoulders. Give yourself a high five, guys. Awesome job. I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. It was a little bit of a longer one. I hope you guys loved it. If you liked it, remember to give me the thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and tell a friend to subscribe. I love you guys. I love your support. Um, I would love to be on YouTube more and providing you guys with more workouts. I hope to be able to do that soon. I love doing this guys and I love hearing all your feedback. You are truly important to me. You guys are awesome. Always remember that. Always remember to take care of yourself. Health is so important, especially as we age at any age, but we really need to pay attention to it as we get older. So take care of your brains and your bodies and I will see you guys in the next one.